Hey guys, what's up? It's MCH2 here back with another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make the potion of poison and the potion of harming. Now before I say anything else, I just want to thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. But before we start today's video, I want you guys to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so you never miss when I upload another video just like this one. But without further ado, let's get into mm. it. Alright guys, so I'm going to start it off by showing you guys how to make the potion of poison. Now in order to make the potion of poison, you will need the following materials. You will need one piece of blaze powder, one nether wart, one spider eye, and the number of water bottles that you will need depend on how many potions you want to make. If you want to make one potion, you'll only need one water bottle, and if you want to make three potions, you will only you will need three water bottles. Now the minimum you can have is one water bottle and the maximum is three water bottles. After you guys have all that you will also need one brewing stand. Alright guys so after you have everything I just listed you will need to take your brewing stand out and place it right in front of you and you will need to click into the brewing stand. After you've done that you will need to take your piece of blaze powder and put it in the top left corner slot. You will see that the little bar has turned orange and that means you can put your three water bottles or however many water bottles you have into the bottom slots like I am putting them. Then you will need to take your nether wart and put it in the top slot and you will see that the bubbles on the left are starting to bubble and turn white and the arrow on the right is starting to turn white and go down. Now. Once the arrow goes all the way down, you will have three awkward potions. These potions have no effect, but this is the first step to making the potion of poison. You guys now have three awkward potions, and that means that you will need to take your spider eye and put it in the top slot. And again, you'll see the bubbles turning white and bubbling, and on the right, the arrow turning white and going down. Now, once this arrow reaches all the way down, you will have three potions of poison. Alright guys, you now have three potions of poison. Now these potions poison yourself and it poisons you and it lasts for 45 seconds. So yeah, now on to how to make the potion of harming. Alright guys, so I'm now going to show you guys how you can make the potion of harming. And in order to make the potion of harming, you will need the following materials. You will need one piece of blaze powder, one fermented spider eye, and the number of potions of healing you will need depend on how many potions of harming you want to make. If you want to make one potion of harming, you will need one potion of healing. If you want to make two potions of harming, you will need two potions of healing. And if you want to make three potions of harming, you will need three potions of healing. Now the minimum you can have is one potion of healing and the maximum is three potions of healing. And then in addition to all this, you will also need one brewing stand. Alright guys, so after you have all the materials I just listed, you will need to get out your brewing stand, place it right in front of you, and click into it. After you've done that, you will want to take your blaze powder and put it in the top left slot. And then you'll need to put your potions of healing in the bottom slots. And then you will need to put your fermented spider eye in the top slot. You will see the bubbles are turning white and bubbling and the arrow on the right is turning white and going down. Once this arrow reaches all the way down, you will have three potions of healing. I meant potions of harming. You will have three potions of harming. So you guys now have three potions of harming, and this potion deals instant damage, as you can see it says. So yeah, I'm now going to show you guys how you can turn the potion of poison and the potion of harming into splash potions so you can use them against your enemies. 
All right, guys, so in order to turn the potion of poison into a splash potion of poison, you will need the following materials. You will need one piece of blaze powder, up to three potions of poison, just like last time. The number of potions of poison that you guys have depend on how many potion, splash potions of poison you guys wanna make. If you have one potion of poison, you will make one splash potion of poison, and if you have three potions of poison, you will make three splash potions of poison. Like I said before, you at least have to have one potion of poison, and the maximum is three potions of poison. Once you guys have all that stuff, you will need one piece of gunpowder and one brewing stand. After you guys have all the materials I just listed, you will need to take out your brewing stand, place it right in front of you, and click into it. After you've done that, you will need to take your piece of blaze powder, put it in the top left corner, and you'll see that the bar has turned orange. That will mean that you can place your potions of poison in the bottom slots. And then, after you've done that, you will need to place your gunpowder in the top slot. And you'll see that the bubbles are bubbling, and the arrow is going down. And once this arrow goes all the way down, you guys will have three splash potions of poison. All right guys, congratulations, you now have three splash potions of poison. Now these splash potions of poison do the same thing a potion of poison would do, except you can now damage your enemies and throw them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the splash potion of harming now. All right guys, so in order to make the splash potion of harming, you will need the following materials. You will need one piece of blaze powder, and up to three potions of harming. Like I said before, if you have one potion of harming, you will get one splash potion of harming, three splash potions, three potions of harming, and you will get three splash potions of harming. And the minimum number of potions of harming you can have is one, and the maximum is three. After you have all those things, you will need one piece of gunpowder and one brewing stand. After you guys have everything I just listed, you will need to get out your brewing stand and place it right in front of you. You will then need to click into your brewing stand and put the blaze powder in the top left slot. You will again see that the bar has turned orange. That means you can place your potions of harming in the bottom slots. And after you have done that, you will need to take your piece of gunpowder and put it in the top slot. You will see the bubbles bubbling and the arrow going down, just like last time. Congratulations guys, you now have three splash potions of harming. Again, these potions do the same thing a regular potion of harming would do, except you can now throw them and deal damage to your enemies. So that is all for today's video, so on to the outro. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you guys can make these potions in your own Minecraft world to help you guys out in the game. But like I said, that is the end of today's video, so MCH2 out. Bye!